a tip I made about a year ago reminding people a little bit of a trick on obtaining more rainbow prints for gear. Assuming you guys really want more gear for this specific season, I know it's a light cruiser gun. Um, it's not the best one out there, but hey man, if there's one UR gear you probably want a lot of uh, for min-maxing, it's probably this gun right here. So we might as well start farming, right guys? So the little trick is, <clears throat> if you guys aren't already aware, there is a little thing you can do to improve your chances of obtaining more UR prints. What I mean by this is... You're given a selection of five missions, right? Usually, like I said before, you take the Q missions to improve your chances of getting more gear prints. Otherwise, you take the fastest one available, right? Now, one thing you can do is if you're really far into a season, is you make sure at least one of your ships aren't developer 30 already. What this does is once you developer 30 a ship, their face missions, which are called D something, right, won't show up anymore. So in this case, Harbin shows up, and my Harbin isn't done yet. Same as my uh, Prince right here, Prince Rapper. Um, they're not done yet. Now, I should be finishing Harbin or whatever, so I can keep Prince Rapper griefed, but um, I'm too lazy. Uh, I'll, f I'll worry about it another time. Having two, having two of them uh, up, though, is perfectly fine. Now... What this does is, rather than having more face missions available, it eliminates, for me, Plymouth, Brest, and the Russian Carrier. So three of those face missions are gone from my selection right here, and I only have Harbin and Prince as face missions. What this does is by eliminating face missions, you're given more chance of an opportunity to obtain Q missions. Q missions as you guys already know from me saying it a billion times already, are the best way of obtaining UR prints. These things right here. So, by intentionally making it so you guys have one of these maxed out, it eliminates their face mission. So, one strategy you guys can do is if, if you guys have a lot of general plates or general prints for like that season, like um, for me, I have five. I burned all of them on the carrier, but... If you have like a hundred of these and you have a ship that can't get developer 30 right away, I say just use all those prints to developer 30, one of them, assuming that you don't mind maxing them out early and just eliminate their face missions like right away. This will make it so you improve not only your missions for UR prints for like Plymouth and Brest, like I mentioned in the previous video. But you're also given more opportunities to improve your chances for Q missions for farming UR prints. So the last video I made last year was in regards to getting more Haku Ryu and E-Girl prints. This time around is the same thing, but I forgot to mention you can farm Q missions as well too. That's also another thing to consider. So it is a really, really good strategy for you guys to do it. Just make sure if you guys want to stay here for a very, very long time for getting more light cruiser UR gear prints or just finishing off your Plymouth and Brest, try to delay maxing out that one ship for as long as possible. If you guys are wondering how I have three Drake guns, what I did for PR3 um, for PR um, three was I kept my champagne at 163 prints or below 165 because you need 165 to max out champagne to uh to get this now here's the thing as well after you max them out you don't get their prints anymore so i can dump two more prints in the champagne and then just i won't see any face missions anymore for pr3 i think that was like a newer thing they added in um back then i kept just champagne like uh, not available anymore but back then it was like a thing i think this was before uh, P uh face of fives came out so i just left champagne at this or whatever but, um, go ahead and max it out though. It's only for seasons where you have a, you have all the ships aren't maxed out yet. So for example, if I were to max out all these ships right here, uh, Prince and Harbin, I'm probably going to see face missions for all five of them again, rather than just, just these two as of right now. So just a little bit of strategy that you guys can do. Um, I'm not sure if they changed it in the past year or so, but I think they haven't. By the way though, 
what I'm doing as of right now is I'm keeping Prince and Harbin at, from being developer 30 so I can farm more of these Q missions, which are very, very good. I'm going to need a lot of these guns, so I might as well just do it. And Harbin and Prince aren't a big priority for me to get developer 30. So I'll be keeping them on the bench for the time being until they're facing fives at least. So just a little tip for you guys. Go ahead and watch my last video as well too. Go ahead and put it in the description or something or at the end of the video. You guys can look at that. But a little bit of a strategy for you guys. Hope you all learned something. Thank you guys for watching. Happy Halloweens. And as always, see you guys in my next video.